All right, there's one pandemic trend that is still going strong. We're talking about the backyard chicken boom. More people are raising chickens, even in cities and suburbs. Lynn Bowie visits an urban coop to find out what everyone is clucking about. You give them fresh water, they're going to yeah. find the mud puddle. Yeah. <laughs> After Jody Litchfield lost her job during the pandemic, she had to wing it with a new plan. With our own chickens, I started to get really, really excited about the details of chickens, the health side of chickens, how to take care of them properly, and started edu educating myself. And then my husband said, well, other people need this education. <laughs> So they hatched an idea, Mother Clucker's Mobile Chicken Wellness Spa. Our number one response when the people ask us what we do is, wait, what? <laughs> they can't believe it, and sometimes we can't either. They service all of Maryland, plus parts of West Virginia, Virginia, and Pennsylvania, cleaning coops, educating people, and selling chicken-related products. But we're giving people the opportunity to have such a joyful journey with raising chickens. Raising chickens became a trend during the pandemic. Why? When COVID happened, everybody was home and it became a family thing. It's also driven by the trend of knowing where our food comes from, um, that self-sustainability, that micro homesteading is becoming a really big thing. She's now busy getting coops ready for winter. Blue, duders, and so-so need extra bedding and protection from the wind. This is one of the first chicken coops in Baltimore County, which passed a bill allowing backyard chickens earlier this year. We saw a lot of Baltimore County residents just run, so to speak, flock. <laughs> They flocked off to the, the, the farm stores and picked up as many little chickens as they could. This is blue. She is so pretty. She is. Sharon Gruder is the mother hen of this urban coop and helped get that bill passed. It's one of those things in life that has been better than expectations. It has exceeded expectations. They don't smell, they're pretty quiet, and usually a lot of neighbors don't even know you have them. Most of my neighbors have no idea. The only ones that know are the ones I give eggs to. <laughs> so they love them. Fresh eggs daily. Hug her tight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got her. There you go. There we go. Aww, she's very sweet. Yeah. With a side mom. of companionship. I come home, I let them out to run around the yard, and I just sit and watch them. They're hilarious. They all have their own personalities. They're so much fun. They'll come and eat out of your hand, and they're just, I don't know, they're very calming. It sounds therapeutic. It really is. It really is. It's kind of my form of meditation, I guess, is watching my chickens. Thanks to the spike in backyard chicken keeping, Jody's business is thriving. They have almost 70 clients and are adding more every day. Ten years ago, would you say, oh, hey, Jody, did you think that you'd be cleaning chicken coops for a living? No. <laughs> but you love it. We love it. It is, honestly, it, it's one of my biggest passions I didn't know was in there. Putting all her eggs in one basket worked out. It's not work if you love it. <laughs> <laughs>